Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe because it's Wednesday, sometimes Friday and also on Sunday. Today we are into this time of the year which is always probably the, the dirtiest job in the, of the whole year. We're into cleaning out and washing out the sheds. It's probably the most dirtiest job you could ever come across. Um, this week I was a day late as well with the Wednesday video because I was doing this. Well, I haven't been at it all week and I'm tired heading me. I'm at, it's about nine in the morning. I haven't been at it all week. I've been at it off and on. And I've also been, believe it or not, I've been pulling ragwort as well in some places. And I've been at that. I've been fencing and I've been just doing lots of stuff. So it's been a crazy week, really. It hasn't been very busy. There's no time to do anything. There's been not much time for filming either, but I've managed to squeeze it all in together. So keep you all happy. Um, so, this we have, I've nearly finished the main, the original cobble shed and I also done the sheeting this year, the best I could, like look as good as I could do it, I couldn't get inside some of the timbers up there because it's a bit dangerous with the ladder and the power is powerful, so to keep blowing you back and <laughs> I wouldn't be the best on that ladder so I kind of stay off them if I can. Um, I got up there as far as I could, I got there and I done a pretty good job here, the muck and the dirt was horrendous around them, they were never done. Done along back, I done all the back pretty good, done up along there, didn't go up there because the camera's there and I done as far as I could. It's just, it gives a bit more light in this shit, like I, like I couldn't get across there either. So it's just some patches there, but look, it's better than what, it's better than what it was, is my, is my theory. <laughs> that, that's my opinion, it's better than what it was and look, it's nice to have the place clean. Um, a few things to do here, like this year I might get, I might get a new mat for there, the mat's kind of getting kind of bad, I might get a new mat for there. I had to board a few, I had to put them down some new place, I had to board a few of them down. That one's loose, I had to put the place down there properly again. A few bits like that, not major. Um, the feeding barrier, yeah. The feeding barrier is fairly... Goosed, if I can say so myself. Um, either is put new timbers there. This two differently. And just two bottom ones, even because they're rotten. Or... Put a concrete barrier there, like in the new shit above. I'll show you now. Um, that is the other option I'm trying to think of this year to do is put concrete here or timber. Probably would not be end up being timber. Being honest, I might change these three because they're um, I suppose they're just rotten. They're 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 they're, they're, they're a long time. They're there since first day. Which is pretty good, being honest, because they're obviously and everything that, that they're inside from all the elements over in the shed over they don't last because they're outside and they just don't last ten years and they're gone or less five really. And I want to change them in the middle. I would love to put a concrete for anyone who hasn't seen it. I would love to put it as concrete because it would just be a way a cleaner job and it's just tidier. No messing. No timber break like that. I might do it like that. I'll see. We'll see how we we'll see how we're getting on with time this year. I also have to do the shed. I have to wet it first. I do wet it before I start. I've been mocked up to clean out. I have to do this shed as well. And I have to put the calf pins in there, the two, and I have to draw the shed over. And the calf shed down there. And the milking parlour has to be done. And all the machines have to be washed and put in for the winter, but there's no panic left for now. These are priority because I, I want to get the sheds ready for the winter because look. Not being negative, but you never know how last, how, when the winter's going to start, so you want to be ready. So, first job of the day, clear all the smoke and get power washing.
big shovel is a great job. <laughs> now it all cleared. Now I have to just move these two rock breakers out of the way and get them moved and somewhere else and get started. I'm gonna start probably try to do all these mats now here, have all these done, put all these mats, get all the slats done here, out as far as here, and then start on the outside. So let's get the rock breakers moved, the cube of water filled and get cracking. Straps, guys, as I'm, as I'm in the tractor, so just uh, a bit of persistence and a bit of patience. There we go. It's one. They're very light guys anyway, they're only for mini diggers, so they're very they're only for mini diggers, so they're very quiet. They're very light. So as I'm on topic here guys of tractors, um some people are asking about um the history of trackers on the farm, what we've had and what's been there, what's gone, what's been sold, so we might, we will do a tractor video in the very, very near future, and we might do a review of the farm tractors. Um, we'd say the three, I, the three older vultures in the Fortune House and a bit of history on them. They're probably um, the other two big tractors, the two red ones, the N and the T. I wouldn't consider them really farm tractors. They're more for construction, but they do. Some they kind of fall in when I'm on the, when there's a bit of pressure on with silage and things. I'm sorry to get out, so I do use them then. But most of the time, they kind of just handle moving the diggers around and stuff and drawing rock and all that. So definitely, yeah. Um, I'll do a farm tractor review video in the very near future. This brake is a bit heavier, but it's movable with the tractor. The beauty about having the cow sheds cleaned out is that you can put stuff in them for a few months. Even, stuff, even there in front of the barrier, you can store stuff. You know, that's the beauty of having them done kind of early in the year. I'm probably very late doing it because. I just didn't really recently, I just did not have time to do them now. So that's my excuse. Is it a valid one? Probably not, but anyway. We are busy people at times, so it's nice to have them clean just to do, just do some repairs. So anyway, take this cup of water filled and get moving. So this holds a thousand litres of water, it's a, that, that water container is as old as myself, it's, a, <laughs> it's fairly old. Um, it normally lasts about, we are flat out power hosing with the power hose, it probably lasts about half an hour. And when I'm using, I have a, a tractor power hose here, I think most people have one of these in the farm. Sorry, life of an eye technician. I, I just got a phone call there. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a it's a Hawk pump. Um, oh, this thing I'd say is 15 years old now. Probably more. It's probably not far. 20, I'd say. And we have it a long time. Never gave me a bottle really. Just leaked a bit of oil there, but I would place a plate in the front and seem to fix it. Um, yeah, I run it on the 1000 um, PTO. It's fierce pressure off it. It's a good job. It's portable. I know pitch bars are portable too, but. You're not running out of petrol and 
you can bring the cube of water on the front of the tractor and it's just that bit handier like you know so that's a good job in fairness i know some of them have reels on them now and a reel be handy on it because it's messy it's already full a bit of the volume wash it's way faster but yeah it's the only machine for that because even wetting it even wetting the shed it dries straight away again and you're like god and i give it a good wetting now the last day and still anyway it's nearly full i said cracking Two passages are completely done now and it looks so nice and it's clean. Um, just a front passage here now to do and we'll probably move on to the shed above then. Probably won't be this evening because I'll have them out here done, done and everything. I normally do all, all, all out here as well. I have all that done and everything. It'll be milking time early so it's about half two now so I'm nearly there. Probably will do this now to all today, get through it. Definitely the muckiest job in the world on the farm anyway, on farming life anyway. But um, I think power washing is worth it because you're kind of, if there's anything is same bit of a, anything is sitting there like, a, not saying a disease, but infection or anything is sitting there, we're getting rid of that. And I might this year, I might go around with disinfectant, I might go around with disinfectant with a small sprayer and spray all the walls. And I'll do that. They also say, I was talking to a person before on the show, they said the sheeting sometimes can carry the disease or the infection. is isn't done in a while. Look, being honest, how are you going to get up there? <laughs> um, you probably would need like a small cherry picker. I'd be thinking to get up there. I'd be thinking anyway. Um, the teleporter wouldn't even have much of a battle there because I suppose you'd have to bring in the, the baskets, the man basket, and you couldn't go up that high. The only thing that's cool is that makes, if anyone has any of one of them 
telescopic lenses. They got new lenses here, and it's fairly long. It's pretty long, and I think that's a five foot lens. People have telescopic ones. Might like something to look at in the future. Apparently, you can go up as far as the height of the roof. I don't know how you'd hold it, but I just to hold it back like this. I'd be thinking and just go up. Um, so yeah, definitely next year I might look into getting one of them to finish off the shed because I think it's worth doing the sheet and keeps it clean. I'm just filling out a cube of water there. So, so I'm going to clean this up and then we'll get started on finishing off the shed for this evening. So guys, all done. Completely. Completely done. At last. Now, I just got to put everything back here again. A few bits and pieces, so we'll get doing that now. guys everything back in order again and I even put the crate out here because I actually have two cows to hoof trim tomorrow morning so I just wanted it accessible 
skid steer is probably the most easiest way of moving it around because um, to get it in front of the crush there, it's kind of tied for the tractor so the tree, so the skid steer can move it around that bit easier. So handy out as usual. This will be my third time using it, so it has a bit of work ahead of it, all right, but not much like I've done, like I said before, not much lameness on the farm. It's a few cows, kind of long claws, and I just want to kind of tie them up a small bit. So I'll two, maybe three cows to do tomorrow. Going well. Shit all done, nice of it done. I'm wrecked after doing it. I'm just filling a cube now for tomorrow, a cube of water up for tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna wet this down before milking now. And I'm gonna give it the power hose, wet it all down. And I might even give it the hose again this evening after the cows, maybe just to give it more of a wetting. And uh, just because it's pure dry up here, I just wanna get it all freed out. There was a big clump of muck there, but I cleaned it out with the shovel like I showed you before. Um, first time doing the shed, it's only a single passage, so it shouldn't be too bad. All going well. Um, concrete, in the muck in between the grooves should come out fairly easy. Um, I was asking my dad would I damage the grooves with the power hose, but he said you shouldn't because the concrete's fairly good. So that shouldn't happen. Um, yeah, either than that, guys, that's the end of the video. I know it's not a very exciting video, but I like to do these kind of videos as well because I like to show you everything that I do throughout the year. And this is a part, of, this is a big job I think of the year, it has to be done every year. It's annoying, we all hate doing it. Nobody likes it. No farmer likes power washing sheds out, but it is satisfying in the end to see it all nice and clean. And you know, you see it all clean, it's nice, it's satisfying. It works out well. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you, bye.